Hello. This is an album that I made for my grandmother, and it's a TP album. It's fairly small, but um, this is the front. It's just got lots of dangles, lots of uh, this. I used the butterfly garden paper. So that's the little dangles at the bottom. I attached them with just jump rings. And then I had some flowers from um, left over from Lydia's giveaway and just stuck those there. And this is a piece of lace, pretty pretty lace. This is a metal embellishment from, um, I believe it's Memory Keepers, and just a couple homemade flowers, and um, a leaf from a Cricut. Of course the papers in the background it's kind of like graph but this is um, I think this was like a charm that went on a um, necklace or something that I took off I put a Tim Holtz doorknob on it and the bottom has just got a um, one of those punches yeah so then um, I just the binding is um, cable ties. I think I said that right. Uh, I, I'm going to put more ribbon on it, but just to show y'all, I didn't. See, they're the little um, just cable ties, this little piece right here. Zip ties. There you go. Zip ties. That's what they are. So you open it up, and the first page is just is put in here by twine like I've closed it with twine and then I'm trying at a weird angle y'all and so then it just flips down kind of like you know wallet picture thing and I've got some um the the, pa the paper it's all distressed I believe this is uh, Victorian velvet that it's distressed in just more of the paper and um, just flips up like this and then again it closes with the uh, twine piece the next page is um, just more of the paper I did the, the border punch and it flips open like this and that's one side for pictures or journaling and then just a punch that I have and a flower and this is a little bird cage she likes birds my granny really likes birds so um, so after you do that you open it like that it'll flip down like so and so it's more for big pictures I figured she could put pictures in here like I wanted her to kind of put like old timey pictures like older pictures when she was younger in here she can do whatever she wants with it and the first tag is it says charming it's got a little um dress form eyelash trim and then some of the pattern paper very pretty and then next page is this actually comes out right here this is just a tag that she can either journal on or she can put a picture on and I'm actually going to make more of these probably to go in here um, and then it's just lace with dots and I had to put a lot of lace because whenever I went to punch these holes for the binding I really messed this thing up but I had already you know adhered the paper and did everything and I just did not want to have to you know wait because I didn't have much paper to waste so that's that one and that's why they all have lace and it worked out with the lace by the um seams but this is a flower and it kind of gets smashed and I was trying to think of what I could put on the other side to bulk it up but you just fluff it and it'll be alright this one says love 
this page and there's nothing on this page and she can actually stick something this is open I left it open so if she wanted to stick something in this little love thing or in the flower to put right there she can and this tag is just um, some pattern paper and um, I forgot to say that I embossed that dress form and this is embossed too my friend Gina gave me some um, embossing powders and so I embossed a D because her name starts with a D. I'm named after my grandmother too, so it's pretty special. Another bird cage. On the back I've just stamped love and got another border strip of pattern paper going up with just eyelash trim. And the next page it has more danglies at the bottom, just a piece of ribbon. I left it plain. The next page has a pocket. That's a pocket she can put stuff in. Um, it's got a rosette trim, I guess, piece. I got it from a triple dog dare you. And then um, I pin. This is a pin. I pin that on there, and it's got little pearls in it. It's very like elegant. I thought it went with the paper because of the wasps. So pretty cool. And then that let's see. This one is not coming out very easily. But this is this one. It says enchanting. I stamped that on there. This is just the pattern paper. This right here is a Prima stamp but I embossed and on the back just more of the pattern paper and uh, it came like I think this was the very front the um, the piece that shows you like all the papers you know what's in the pack and I thought it was too pretty to just you know waste so I put it there on the tag more eyelash trim and the trim is all different I got yellow trim pink trim blue trim purple trim just all the colors that are in the book so I just try to mix it up some. This page says hope and again it's like that pattern paper and it's got the border right there. This is hope and again like I made some of these. This is a little cherub thing I distressed and um, cut out and you can just slip it down you know slip pieces down in there for that last page is just um, this is some what is it called um, lace stretchy lace stuff um, was it a pocket full of vintage Marianne um, sent this to me so um, I just made a little pocket from the lace and this is embossed this is like my very first embossing um, try and it just says inspire and joy so that just fits down in there and then the last tag I'll have to set it down and get it out but the last tag I got kind of stumped so um, that's what it ended up looking like it's got a uh, was it a dually folded around uh, mod podged in there so it's you know sealed in there and then I just uh, ripped the edges of the cardstock. This is like sticker cardstock, and uh, inked it up. And then put a. I have a small piece that I, you really can't see it because of the lighting, but it's a very. It was a really pretty little piece, so I just stuck that in there. And um, this is more eyelash trim, and I believe this is from Marianne Pocket Full of Vintage too she sent me that so um, the back of it is just um, says live laugh love and it's more of the pattern paper I thought that piece was really pretty I didn't want to cover it up so um, I try to leave a lot of room for pictures because I want a lot of pictures in here so I just tried to leave 
lots of room, lots and lots of pictures, um, journaling spots. Um, I have more tags that I don't, there's, it's just too many, but I have, um, lots of little tags like these that is going to go in, you know, for her to, um, to put, if she wants to put it in there or if she doesn't want to put them in there, that's fine. Um, and I was thinking about even stamping some lines on the back of these so that way, um, if she, she did want a journal or put a picture it didn't matter which but um this is i've been working on this thing for a really long time um so i really really hope she likes it this is going to be her birthday present this year um i showed her a teepee mini that i had made and she was just like wanted to know how i made it what did i do what did i use um, she just fell in love with it, so I figured I would surprise her with uh, one of her own. So this is, you know, just for her, and I didn't, you know, I didn't even kind of elaborate on it. So she's gonna be really, really surprised, and I'm glad that she's gonna get her own little TP mini. But um, this is it, and thank you for watching. Um, I had a lot of fun making this. It was a lot of trial and tribulation and just uh I, I swear i had to take these little things off right here probably like 10 times to get them to just because like there's just so much to go in with the construction of this thing but uh, i had a lot of fun making it and i think the more you make them the easier it gets because this is the second one i made and it wasn't quite as troubling as the first one so um this is it oh and the closure i was i was gonna put you know um sorry about this but where did they go i had a whole bunch of here they are okay um the closure okay is this is a charm that I made. This is her name. Um, it's got a little um, made with love charm. Then it's got a little angel. Then a couple little beads with little head pins. Um, a cross. And then a heart charm. And then um, like a little cameo. So this is the charm, and this will be the um, closure for the thing. I've got to figure out how to, uh, I'm going to lengthen it, because just because whenever she goes to put um, her pictures and stuff in there, I know it'll probably bulk up more, and um, with the tags in there, I'm going to have to lengthen the chain, but um, this is the, going to be the closure. So all I have to do right now is just lengthen the chain. So that way I make sure everything fits. So just in case you were wondering how was I going to close it, that's it. haven't done it yet though, but I wanted to get this up because I know that um, I almost like went and took it to her without even filming it. So I want to make sure I get it filmed so that way you can at least see it. So thanks for watching. Um, have a great day. Happy crafting.